and has it changed uh, the songwriting through through the years? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, can totally. you maybe 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 explain a little bit? Uh, I wrote down the four albums. Maybe you can look back a little bit. Well, um, which one are you starting with? The state or the state? Yeah, state. The yeah. state was like peeing in the corner. <laughs> Get out of here! I'm doing my. Hang on, I'm writing. I'm writing the stuff. Hang on. What? But he, he's the prolific writer, right? Yeah. He's the guy that that's what he does. He, some guys can just get up and they can just write and write and write and write, and some guys just that's not their thing. He's one of those guys. So, um, you know, he did all that. All the, all the, you know, the majority of the writing. We come in with, um, you know, ideas. I have various things. Like I, I wrote. I'll write the, the, the half of breathe on the state, the the, the chorus and mm -hmm. and the harmonies and. And uh, oh, pardon me, the, the verse, pardon me, and the harmonies, and uh, you know we'll add our parts here and there. So you actually you get a bit of a flavor, but overall the feeling is is you know the the original songwriter. So Chad's feeling of the song kind of came through because he wrote all the lyrics, especially right. And uh, then the next one is Silver Side Up, and that one opened up a little more with arranging. And contributing to parts like "How You Remind Me" and, and "Too Bad," and uh, especially those two, and then the other songs. A lot of them were, you know, still Chad would come with the major idea, and then we kind of build around it, and we'd arrange and get parts together. And but does he come up then with just the uh, the song? I mean, acoustic it or maybe uh, amplified or Mo mostly acoustic. acoustic. Some some stuff amplified. It's not like a it's not a static way of doing it every time. Sometimes, you know... A heavy song is usually written on electric, right? Because yeah. You can't, yeah, play, yeah. you can't play really heavy no. riff on acoustic and have that... No, but sometimes you, you just start acoustic and then you just build it up in the studio. I mean, oh, yeah. You know, in, in, know. And it's amazing how you can, you can start acoustic, build it up into yeah. a rock song, yeah. and then leave it like that, or build up to a rock song, yeah. strip it right back down to acoustic because it doesn't sound right. Yeah. Okay. It's, ran it's quite random, actually, how it yeah, happens. Okay. Yeah, and, and, the, and then the long road was... was um, I gotta go back to Long Road. It was a lot of very similar to to Silver Side Up, and where we were, you know, you, you would you would contribute the parts, you know, a lot of uh, counter melodies and and whatnot, and some lyric. We started writing lyrically. We wrote uh, someday. We kind of contributed parts to that and and wrote someday a little more as a group than we had ever done before, and with this album, even even more so, where we. Had, We'd, we all sat down and, you know, he's coming up with the guitar, guitar parts and I'd come up with, you know, guitar parts and lyric parts and we'd we piece together the solo for um, the side of a bullet. Yeah, because um, of Dime and Dime. Yeah, yeah. And, so, and so we had, I mean, there's a lot more lyrical contribution on certain songs, a lot more musical and arrangement contributions as a, as a group. Uh, and, it, and I don't know, I mean, it, I guess it's... It's a bit more we're, we're opening up to exposing ideas more because it's hard to kind of put something out there and you know hopefully nobody says it's stupid, yeah, right? Yeah, if you're yeah. not a, if you, if that's not always been your thing that you're like know, a full blown I songwriter, it's kind of hard and you know you know trying to lay that out there. But and for Chad, it's kind of hard to, for him, that's what he that's what he does. But in order to mix it up a bit, <clears> he's got to let go of some of that, and so it's hard, hard for him as well. But I think it's all. I, I, I think it, had, it has to do with trust. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think it's getting, absolutely, and I think it's getting more and more like that uh, these days. Chad always calls his songs like kids. It's like people say, what's your favorite song in the album? He goes, well, it's all like if you have a bunch of kids, what's your favorite yeah, child that you have, right? And everybody has a favorite child. Don't let but them they'll never, you. But they'll, <laughs> but never, they'll say, never tell you. <laughs> well, I guess that would be like giving your child to a babysitter for oh, the day. Okay. Be like a trust thing, like, yeah, okay, no, here yeah, it yeah. is. Just Yeah, no, totally, totally. And, and again, some of the songs he'll go... Here's basically I've got the lyrics, or some of the songs will go. I'm thinking of, you know, da 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 da. da. Okay. Okay. Let's see where we can go. That song on the wall was called. Da do da 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 da. That was the name of that song. <laughs> okay.